Hello. Hello, this is Lewis and David. Uh, we just moved here a little over a month ago to Costa Rica uh, from the United States. And uh, we moved just before the coronavirus pandemic. <laughs> so it's been interesting, but we are here and we are safe. And um, I think we made a good decision with our move, don't you think? We hit it just in time. Yeah, it was uh, a wild ride. We had about a week window to make a choice, and we chose to go ahead on to Costa Rica. The health system here is pretty good, and they've done a really great job of um, uh, enforcing rules to keep people uh, socially distanced. So that's so that's really good. All the good restaurants have closed for service, but uh, you to go. But we're staying in a bed and breakfast, the Agua Inn, and we eat ninety. Five percent of the time here, so that works out well. Yeah, we have been um, uh, on lockdown here, which is not a bad thing. I mean, it's it's like a Garden of Eden here at the Agua Inn, really. And Trent and Javier and Israel, uh, they've all done a great job at making us feel comfortable and safe, and uh, uh, keeping keeping us entertained. I mean, we've got a beautiful pool here that we swim in in the evenings. We go for our walks in the evenings. Um, and I've been taking a lot of bird pictures and animal pictures. We just saw this strange looking, I don't know what it was. I thought it was a cat. I it mean, might, a big cat. Big black cat. Yeah, it looked like a giant cat slash squirrel thing hanging out in the tree. We've seen, I've become friends with a giant uh, Jesus Christ lizard, which got its name because it can run on water or walk on water when it feels threatened to get away from predators, which is pretty awesome. And it's it's actually pretty big. They're like it's like three foot long. Um, and then the female comes up, and she's about half that size. Yeah, and then she doesn't have the fins either. And then um, we've seen two cans. Uh, not, I haven't gotten the best pictures of the toucans yet because they're kind of far away from us. But eventually I'm going to get a good toucan shot. We've got a crazy shot of a group of toucans trying to get inside of a tree hole. There was four toucans in this tree hole, and the fifth one was trying to get in there and squeeze in there. And I think there were a total of six toucans, so I don't know if they all eventually got in there or not, but it was pretty funny to watch them. And um, what else have we... Uh, taking pictures. Lots of pictures of flowers. Lot, see, there's some beautiful flowers nice. here. And um, lots of pictures of all just all different kinds of birds. Just um, a mop, mop bird. And um, we call it a turkey bird. Looks like a turkey. Guan, right? But it's a guan. Yes. Guan type bird. And um, just amazing just the different types of animals and uh, birds that you see here it's like uh, it really is like a garden of Eden it is that beautiful but you also have like the abundance of wildlife which is to the extreme I mean we might have five or six hummingbirds uh, you know around us while we're having breakfast when we eat out uh, on the porch uh, and then you go for a walk and you'll see dozens and dozens of birds. And in the distance, you can hear howler monkeys. And uh, so it's been really, it's been really great. It's been good. Uh, we are here because we are building a house in Potrero, um, Costa Rica. Two hours away. Which is two hours away. And the house is going to be called Arcadia. And it will have two guest houses. And it's under construction right now. Architect Orange uh, and Trent and Javier uh, with Architect Orange have been working on the construction of that house. And uh, it's going to be beautiful, I think. Great views. We've got a puddle for a pool. <laughs> uh, but beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. The, the like guest houses are going to be very, very nice. And the views are going to be incredible. 
Um, and it's 15 minutes from five or six beaches and you can see the, o the ocean from our property. So, um, I think it is going to be pretty, pretty stunning when it's done. And I love the attention to detail that Trent and Javier so far have given to the project. So very, very excited about that. I also just wanted to just say that our thoughts and prayers are with everybody right now. We know it's a tough time. Um, you know, it's a different life for everyone. Yeah. For sure. Just everybody be safe and hope everybody, uh, makes a quick recovery financially and economically from everything that's happened. And our thoughts are with you guys, but we're not suffering here. <laughs> it's actually pretty good here right now. So I want to give a shout out to our housekeeper, Adela. Yeah. Adela's and good. to Alexander, the groundskeeper and pool boy. Yeah. Al Alexander saved my drone from a, getting caught in a tree he climbed like 30 <laughs> feet up to get it but anyway uh yes and israel is great uh he has been helping us get shots of birds and stuff like that so really appreciate everybody's help here uh, and i hope everyone's doing great hang in there 